Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Finn. I'm out of breath. Oh jeez Liv. We're here with my lovely wife, my assistant Liv. And we are going to do the belt in the gear and service it. So our belt has gone, so that's what drives it. So these are, I think it's called a CVT. So it works on a belt and then a pulley and another pulley. So the pulley from the engine and the pulley going to the wheels or to the gearbox and to the engine. And what happens then is one pulley gets bit smaller while the other pulley gets bigger and then that increases the drive going to the back wheels, makes it go faster. That's how it works. But her belt has broken and the gear is, hasn't been used in quite a while, Liv. It actually broke down over here. So it hasn't been washed, which is unfortunate. It will be washed. So we got Mead Farm Machinery to send us on a service kit and a belt. This is the belt we have to replace. And this is our service kit with our filters and our oil. So it's a home maintenance kit. Do it yourself lawn equipment maintenance. Yeah, I thought that was very, very funny altogether, and so I did. Now, how on earth am I going to achieve changing this? Well, Liv's cousin, who is a fierce mechanic altogether, watches the videos, I think. I'm pretty sure he does. Sam. Um, he sent me a video of someone in America changing the belt in a gear. So I'm going to quickly recap on that and then I'm going to start ripping it. And while we're at it as well, another man has sent me how to increase the speed. Father Phil wants to increase the speed. It does about 34k and they can go faster and it's a matter of changing some of the spacers on the pulleys and I have an instruction on how to change them spacers too. So I'm going to try that and I am not a mechanic. I'm just a lad who thinks he knows what he's doing. So we're going to get stuck into it and see how this goes. So I want to... I could probably do it with it on it. Because it's underneath that. It's just a matter of taking all that out. And taking this off. Probably do it without taking it off. It's probably handiest without taking it off, isn't it? Yeah. Mind your head, you know you're going to... Bang it. Oh, off a latch. Lovely. Right. Assistant. Get me... Bag of patience. Give me a flathead screwdriver, please. Big one, small one, long one, short one. Uh, very round with a flathead. Preferably a medium sized one. Medium. Thank you. And you get me a red box with nothing in it. Want them, see them little trays? Yeah. Got it, Jeff? Need a bigger one. Give me a can of WD. Did you see that can there? G7? Or GT7? Thank you, Mew. Hey, Bertie. You helping? That's where you always stab yourself. When you're at my flatheads. So this part of the clutch, so now I have to take off that unit there. I need, it's an 8 pin socket. I want to that too. It should. Damn it, I'm missing one. Ha <laughs> ha! Take two. Oh, it's holding it. If you want, they don't want you taking it off. Did he have that off on the video? Yeah, he had it already off. I mean, the plate. That? No, I can't. I couldn't tell. So the video I watched was already with this off, and it was just take off a bolt <laughs> there, pull that back, belt on. Happy days. But to increase the speed, we have to take off this yoki here. But once I get this off, it is actually quite a straightforward job. I wish it was a bit cleaner. Liv, yeah. wash it before you break it next time. I didn't break it. <laughs> I just happened to be driving. Driving it on a yeah. <laughs> Blame you, Betty. Your fault. Currently, the hold up is that little boy in there. And it is one tooth at a time. Yes, I just have to figure out how it's going to come out of here. Where's the belt? Oh dear. <laughs> well broken. Is it fully broke? 
No, it's a thread. <laughs> That's what's left of your birth, Liv. <laughs> Not a lot. So, to pawn the belt, I just have to open that half. I actually don't have to open that one off now because I'm going to take this off. This is the engine clutch, I think. And what I have to do now is increase the spacing on the internal part of that, which increases the diameter. It'll close to to speed it up. It's just open that. That comes off. Then this unit will come out, and then it's to see. I think just slowly release everything. Get the pressure because there's not mad pressure. We'll figure it out as we go along. But anyways, whip that one off. No pressure on that. This one holds all the hand. I think all this does is act as a fan to cool it. No what? I'm just going to come out and have a look at it. None of them are flying anyway. Yeah, let's take them out. Oh, yeah, I think you know, you're going to have the second one now. So you go that way to take the whole out. Huh? It's your centre screen. So, Father Phil is out and he has it sorted. So we just, all this is, is a stopper. So that just puts like a, the maximum amount to let the belt go in. So when you take off this, it lets the belt go in further which is going to increase the speed, but take too much off that, this goes in too far, belt hops off. If we have it at 12 and a half, yeah. so that should, even though it's only, what is it, a one and a half mil from where it was, that could make a huge difference, and we will find out when we put all back together. Now, I can't put the belt on as it is, so I'll have to go back to taking off this one to get the belt on, but ready to go back. So it's just simply that and that, and then get the plate and we'll have to, no, I have to line up the X with the X. X there, X there. And then it's just a matter of pushing it in. And getting the bolts in it. And you pull it back out to you now. Which, this? The other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> And then we'll have to screw them in proportionately. Oh, make sure that they're all screwed in as I go so that it all pulls in at the same rate so it doesn't end up getting twisted. Also, for anyone who's wondering, a warranty has run out on this machine, so doing this isn't going to make a damnedest bit of a difference. But if you had a machine that was within warranty, if you'd done that, they probably wouldn't cover you. Now, once we have them tightened in, it's just a matter of banging in these other ones. And it just, doing it that way saves having to tighten them all in individually. Well, you could just put them in and then tighten them in anyways, but yeah. So I'm not using the gun, just so I have a rough idea of how tight they were. So I should be able to get that same level of tightness. And that's it. Happy days. You put that back on now. Huh? Oh yeah. I know. Only for you live, whatever would I do. Are you stuck now? Yeah. That just comes out. And now we can pawn our belt. Oh, where's my belt? It's behind you. Oh, uh, that's not one there. No, it is behind you, it's there. Oh. You think I'm stupid? Oh. Now, the belt that was on it was one direction. This doesn't have any direction on it. You just go in and just see what daddy says. <laughs> so, so consulted. Oh, Liv loves the word so. You don't get all the so's I put into the videos because Liv keeps taking them out. Every time I start a clip, I say, so now, and Liv just cuts that. So Liv loves the word so. So in the comments down below, leave so. Just so, on its own, because Liv loves that. Don't you, Liv? Yes. <laughs> so anyways, I went in and there's no arrows on this like there is on the other belt. But we're going to put it in as you read it. So it reads Vapormatic. So we're going to put it in as it reads, not the other way around where it's upside down. It's a matter of, put in here. 
in on that one. Up onto that one. And then, oh, watch love, watch that. I sat on a book. This back on. That back in. Yeah, I just have to get started. I'll have to go into the farm and get a uh, jump leads. Or battery charger. Easy to swing that. So, you see now, when the bed starts moving, you see it's starting to expand in there. And you see that expanding and it all, that's how that CV works, or, or um, transmission works. That bed goes that way, that one gets bigger, that one gets smaller, right? So, we just wanted to show you that while we had it off, so everything looks fine there. Um, so now we'll just put back on the covers. What we'll do is we'll put this back together, we'll bring it inside, we'll wash it, and we might service it in the morning, it's getting a bit late. But um, we'll bring it for a spin anyways tonight and see how quick she goes now we've made our adjustments. Yeah, just bang this back on. Tighty. Lefty Lucy. Okay, easier than using the gun. The wrong gun. I've had the small gun I was laughing, but that that one's a bit big for this job. And that's it. Woo! All by together. Fixed. Oh, me, nice. Now is fixed. <coughs> so we will. Bring it for a spin now to see how quick she goes and see does the belt hop off. The belt hops off when we're on bother. So we'll probably service it tomorrow. And um, yeah. Wash we'll it. Wash it, service it. She's good then for another while. Before it was 38. We are back in the workshop after giving her a quick wash. So, pop this. And now, I get my light, we'll go around to the other side. So, I watched another YouTube video on how to service it, using the service kit we have. But the biggest problem we have is where the oil filter is. You can't even see it from this side. Down in there, the fuel filter is there. Very, very hard to get at. Um, the oil plug is underneath, which shouldn't be too hard. Has been running, so she is warm, so should be grand. Always warm your oil before you take it out. Not redden it, but just have it warm, it flows better. So, yeah, you have to get your hand in there to get at it. Very, very hard spot to get at. The video I seen of your man taking it out, he um, <coughs> used a chisel and a hammer straight down to get a twist on so he could twist it off to pull it out yeah not simple but hopefully we'll get done handy enough but first things first is get the oil out from underneath it but the biggest issue in that regard and it's the one thing i give out about on the gear is ground clearance it's very low find where this plug is get the oil changed Black oil anyways. So just have a filter out. It's actually a heck of a lot handier than I thought. So here's my old filter. Here's my new filter. So yeah. Put that onto a barrel to drain. And before you put in any new filter, you need to run some clean oil around the rubber so that it doesn't snag or anything. But I was able to spin the half of my hand, so it's quite easy. Ah. A litre of oil. So come with, the pack come with three litres of engine oil. It doesn't come with any oils for doing transmissions or gearboxes or that. That's it, ready for back in. Once we get this done, we're gonna top it up with oil, then we do the fuel filter. Up it is.
that's it full of oil. So it takes two of the three to fill it. Now our next challenge is the fuel filter. So fuel filter out. So that's it. There's a bit of dirt in it. And then in the filter, I've emptied it out, but there's a little bit of sediment at the bottom, which isn't too bad. So we'll empty this stuff out, give it a bit of a clean, fill this with fresh diesel, put filter in and put back together. Not easy done. Take out the screw to take off the filter, take out two pipes and able to get it an angle then and twist it off. Not simple. Couldn't get the other two pipes off otherwise I'd have taken out that whole unit, but not done. Just clean out, new filter in and ready to go again so we're just about ready to go all's back all's done actually i'll go and i'll grease there's only two grease nipples on this for greasing that's one of them there so i just want to check to make sure i have no oil leaking just in case i didn't get that filter on right and when we start it we'll give it a run round just check there's no oil leaks and then this evening then i'll check again that there's no oil leaks just in case i didn't get the seal on right because it happened to me before in the 3690. I'll grease that there and then we we'll start. On. Sticker on. We'll write it on it there. There's a pen behind you. We're running three attempts. So we'll check for some oil leaks. You don't see in there. For a few leaks. I don't see anything, but we'll check again to see. So now that is the gear here serviced up for another 250 hours. All done, belt changed and serviced. Belt wasn't as hard as it thought it was going to be, and servicing it, it's tight. But it is manageable, I didn't spend probably an hour at it. And I'm not a mechanic, so. But that's the gear here, Re ready to go, another 250 hours, or when the belt goes again. So, happy days. So, happy out there, you're back in your gear here. So, we're going to leave it at that for today's video. Just want to give a big thanks to Sam, Liv's cousin, who sent me the video on how to change the belts. I wouldn't have known how to do that only for him. And to Brian for sending me how to increase the speed of it that's how we knew to de sand a bit off that washer so that we could get going a bit faster so big thanks to both of them and this is the joys of youtube you can find near enough anything you want to do on youtube and that's how you learn to do things best thing on the internet by far youtube so we're going to leave it at that for today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that's it from us good luck